What's up, sneakerheads? This is Sneakerhead213 again, coming at you with another video. As you can see from the box, you can probably already recognize the kind of shoes I picked up today. They just dropped today. Oh, there's a hint right there. Um, this is the box. Just give you a quick 360. I don't have anyone helping me record today, so I would do my best in recording this. But here it is. Today we're going to do a review on the high. Um, on the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG, the Black Toes, specifically speaking. Um, before I start, I'd like to give a shout out to all my haters. I just started this channel and I already got haters, so the more you hate, the more videos I'm going to do. So, And then shout out to all my supporters. Um, and yeah, so there's that. Anyways, so here's the receipt. I always buy my shoes there because at Foot Locker because, you know, they do first come first serve. I recommend it. Never pay resellers reseller prices. It's ridiculous. If you do, you're a fool and you you're impatient. So yeah, never pay reseller prices. Always wait it out. Wait out for the release date. Wait in line, just like everyone else, and you'll get them, just like I did today. Here they are, the Air Jordan One Retro High OG Black Toes. Here they go. Let me take them both out so you guys can take a good look at them. Really nice shoes. After taxes, these are about 170. Before taxes, they are 160. Um, so yeah, and I actually just bought these today. As you can see from the date, let me see the date on the receipt. I'm trying to find it. There it is. The date, the fifth at 9:29 a.m. Just to show you how legit my channel is and my shoe game is. Um, I wait it out like an adult and don't fall victim to the hype and end up paying reseller prices. So yeah, that one, these actually sold already online, so they'll be going to a happy home. Someone that'll actually wear them, because I don't really like wearing Air Jordan 1s due to the bottom sole being too hard on my foot. So they look nice, I will say Air Jordan 1 look nice, but yeah. Anyways, uh, so this is it right here. This is the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Black Toe. Let's see, look at it more. Take a look at that. Give you a 360 view of it. Really nice shoe. Um, the old school tongue, the nylon material, the bottom of it, it's really nice. Give you a review of the other one. I know some of you guys like to see both shoes. Here's that one. Shoelaces come in red, which I think look a lot better than the black ones. Makes it look more unique. You know, there's a tongue, the inside. These are nine and a half. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about these. Let me start with the review finally. So, these are the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Black Toes. A lot of people really like these because of the color combination. I personally like these. The only thing I don't like is this, all this white. It can get really dirty. But, uh, that's just my personal opinion. So, anyways, first thing I noticed when I purchased these was the leather here on the upper midsole or on the upper mid section of the shoe, sorry. It was made from some kind of leather, which is a mixture of this standard material right here and this uh, tumble leather. Um, it's a mixture between them. I would, say I would say it's not as soft as tumble leather, but it's definitely kind of like um, <clears throat> a blend between standard leather and tumble leather. Um, so yeah. But anyways, at the, the bottom sole, it's all white, all round. You can see it all white, just like the traditional Air Ones, Air Jordan Ones. Really nice. Um, the bottom of the shoe, all in red with the Nike logo, um, just like it's always been. I personally think Jordan should start making the bottom material out of different material that'll last more because if you wear these if you ever wore air jordan ones they get you know 
the bottom gets faded because of the hard concrete floor because whatever you you're running or playing basketball they won't last too much but uh yeah so the next thing is also the standard leather right here in red it's not necessarily high quality it's just a standard quality but it's still kind of soft to be honest but it's not as good as the you know the <clears throat> the band Jordans that came out it's not as good as the bands but you know it serves its purpose let me know, let me know what you guys think about these what would you cop or not um, moving forward this leather right here is actually really soft this leather right here on the black toe is actually pretty soft I'm trying to get a good view of it with one hand on the camera this right here is super soft it's almost like patent leather it's uh, to be honest this part is softer than you know the mid part of the shoe right here which a lot of YouTubers didn't mention this is really soft right here it's just, this is almost like tumble leather and, and you know <clears throat> and the option that this is actually softer than all of the whole part of the shoe and I assume they did that so you know your ankles will feel comfortable in these shoes after a long period of time because a lot of the complaints you know in some reviews of Air Jordan 1's are how much your ankles you know feel uncomfortable so I assume that's why they did that this is really good quality. It's almost like the Air Jordan uh, 1 bands that came out this year, right here on this part. But uh, I really like the shoe. Here is some more, some more of that standard and tumble leather mix of type material leather here. See squeezy, you know, wrinkles. Um, the shoelaces come with black and red choices. Um, you can switch them out if you like. Is the Air Jordan logo? Uh, logo, you know. <clears throat> this is the softest part of the shoe, as I mentioned. Uh, the upper part of the shoe, really nice. You see our wrinkles to the touch. Look at that. Look at that. This black material up here is super soft as well, just like on the front toes. Really soft. Same material as up here. Um, the tongue is made out of nylon, just like the old school original OG Air Jordan ones. I prefer these tongues over the leather tongues. Um, that's the back of the shoe. Really nice overall. I really like this color combination because it can go with a lot of clothing. Um, white, blue, you know, red, black, definitely. Um, the inside. Pull it out a little bit. There's that the Nike. These are nine and a half. Um, that's pretty much it. The inside material, as he squeezes, it's pretty soft. It's not like you know those cheap um, Air Jordan ones that come out that are kind of like a off color and aren't so popular as these recent releases in 2016. This is actually some pretty good cushioning for your ankles. So. You know, definitely worth you know the price, considering you can resell them for pretty good money. Um, and yeah, so let me know what you guys think. I personally give this shoe a you know a good 8.5 out of 10. Um, really nice color combination. Uh, <clears throat> here's the other one. Let me show you the other one before I. Say goodbye to you guys. So inside of it, it is a nine and a half as I mentioned. Really dope shoe. Really love this color combination. So soft to the touch here. But my favorite part of the shoe would have to be these, the ankle, the part of a. Uh, you know where the ankle starts the upper part of the shoe really soft to the touch if you guys can get these shout out to you guys i was able to get them just wait in line be patient 
key is to not pay reseller prices don't buy all resellers even though I do resell sometimes but it's all it depends on how bad you want them how much you think they're worth um, and yeah that's, that's pretty much it there's the there's the foot locker bag right here actually look at that just to let you guys know I'm legit so just wait out wait it out <clears throat> never fall victim to the early release hype don't purchase shoes just just to pay you know reseller prices and you know wait it out wait it out is key um i've never paid any reseller prices i always wait it out to the release date um those limited releases i do try to find online on the legit you know like snakrs apps but uh this is the air jordan one retro og black toes let me know what you guys think until the next one i'll see you guys sneakerhead 213 signing out peace